guys, I'm coming to you from Morocco and the background is really noisy right now, but today we are making a Morocco inspired desert dress. But obviously I can't make this dress here, so I have to take you back with me to Germany so we can show you the process behind the dress. And then from there, we will come back to Morocco and I'll show you the final result. So without further ado, let's head back to Germany and get started on this very exciting project. This dress features a knee-high length slit, a long flowy skirt, puffy sleeves, and a wraparound bodice. The material we are using in this project is this stunning silk. It has the most beautiful glitter on it, and there are these patches that kind of just remind me of like fire, which I think will look gorgeous against the backdrop of the desert. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these pattern pieces out, and then we will get started on this project. We are using the Rue dress by moodpatterns.com. You can just look it up on mood patterns in the free pattern section and you're covered. So anyway, let's go ahead and cut these pieces out and then we get to start on the project. Okay guys, now that we have cut all the pattern pieces from the red silk material, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps with this green fabric, which will be acting as a lining. <laughs> Hi guys, so now we have all the lining and the silk pieces cut out, and I'm gonna go ahead and start by sewing the waistband pieces together. So we have one of this back panel, and then we have two of these front panels, and I'm gonna go ahead and attach each side of the front panel to both of these sides of the back panel. And then we get to go ahead and start sewing the bodice pieces together. Here is the finished waistband. Now we're gonna go ahead and start attaching the lining of the bodice to the outer pieces of the bodice. Now, interestingly enough, in the original pattern that I'm using on moodpatterns.com, the dress doesn't require a lining, but personally for me, I'm putting a lining in just to add a little bit more structure as the original garment is looser fitting and I'm trying to make this a little bit more tighter fitting. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the lining together and then I will go ahead and attach them to the waistband. So here's what the finished lining looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat these steps with the silk material. Okay, so here is the lining underneath the main fabric of the bodice, and I'm gonna go ahead and attach these pieces together now. So here is the finished bodice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it inside out and apply a finishing seam along the edges. This is what the main bodice looks like, and now I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the waistband I made a little while ago. This is what the bodice looks like with the waistband attached. Now that this is completed, I'm actually gonna go ahead and start sewing the sleeves together. Okay guys, now that we are on to the sleeve portion of this video, I'm gonna first start by sewing the cuffs of the sleeves together, and then we will go ahead and attach them to the actual sleeve. Hi guys, I got both cuffs done, and now I'm gonna attach them to the base of the sleeves. Now that I've attached the cuffs, I'm gonna go ahead and sew the sleeve itself together, and then I'm gonna attach it to the sides of the bodice. The bodice completely sewn and it looks absolutely beautiful. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the skirt. Okay guys, so the skirt portion of this video is fairly simple. All I have to do is sew the center front pieces to the sides of the center back. The only thing to note is that there is a slit and I will be adding that just a little bit shorter than the original because the original one was like thigh high. So we are gonna make it about knee high and instead of leaving about 12 inches sewn on one side of the skirt, we're actually gonna sew about 24 inches instead. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the skirt pieces together and I will meet you back when they are finished. Ok 
Okay guys, it's about 8 o'clock at night and now we're gonna go ahead and sew the skirt to the bodice. Okay guys, this is super exciting. We have the skirt sewn to the bodice and now all I have left to do is create the belt and then sew the belt loop portions which will keep it nice and snug around my waist. The dress is almost completed but we are missing one crucial piece which is the belt. However, I need trim in order to get it finished. So, I'm going to take you back to the states with me and we're going to go find that trim. Cue the mini vlog! Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the trims. I ransacked both Joann's and Hobby Lobby looking for these trims. They had a lot more options online when I looked originally, but unfortunately not a lot of them were sold in store. And secondly, they were also really expensive. Like, I only got a yard and a half and this cost me $4.50 a piece. So if I'm thinking about it, the belt is the most expensive part of this project. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and lay the belt pieces out and then I'll tell you what the plan is. Okay guys, so these are the belt pieces laid out and there are two layers for each because the belt is made up of two parts which will be attached to each side of the dress. Now the plan here is to sew this on top of the belt once it's flipped inside out. But for the other trim, we're going to go ahead and layer this inside so then when the belt is finally flipped out, these will hang out nicely and you won't see as much of this black ribbon. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and sew one of the sides with the black ribbon sandwiched in between it for both of these strips. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew the rest of the belt, flip it inside out, and attach this brocade trim. Now once that's done, all we have left to do is sew up the sides so that there aren't any raw edges, and then finally attach this to the dress. I know that was a total mouthful, but that's what the plan is now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting working on these, and I will meet you back once both of the belt pieces are completed. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn both belt panels and unfortunately this took a little bit more strategy than I was bargaining for as this black ribbon was a literal pain in the butt to sew. And unfortunately, because I had to be so strategic with how I sewed it, I ended up having to add a ribbon on top just to cover up all my mistakes. But now that we've finished that surprisingly complex part of this project, I'm going to go ahead and lay the dress out and attach the belt panels to the side. Now there is one more thing before this project is completed, which is to create the belt loop and tie on the inside side of the dress, which I will show you how I'm going to do that in just a moment. Okay, so here is the dress very poorly laid out, but anyway, on the side seams, I'm going to go ahead and attach the belt loops, and then now on the inside of the dress, on one of these pieces, I'm going to go ahead and attach a small tie. On the inside, I'm going to go ahead and sew a ribbon loop so that I can attach these two together. Now the purpose for this is mainly just to add a little bit more coverage when you're wearing the garment, just so it doesn't fly open at any moment um but now that i've kind of detailed things out a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and start by sewing those ribbon loops like i told you and then from there we'll finally attach the belt panels okay guys so i have gone ahead and attached the tie and this is what it looks like here's the loop right here and then here are where the two ties are now my plan is to go ahead and attach both of these belt panels to as far back as I physically can just to make sure it's nice and tight fitting and that it won't come loose while I'm wearing it.
Okay, so I like the result of what's going on with the belt right now, but unfortunately, I think the neckline of this dress is a little bland, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and spruce it up with some metallic colored beads. Music 